Yo, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm really pleased to announce a new product that I've come up with. And that is my Blackmagic Micro Studio button extension. So if you're familiar with the Blackmagic Micro Studio camera, you'll know that uh, all the control buttons are on the front and they're a bit mushy and they're a bit small and they're on the front. So when you're filming anything and using this more like a cinema camera rather than a studio camera, it actually makes using it quite awkward. Um, it's my biggest gripe with the camera. So I set about coming up with a solution and yeah, this is what I've come up with. So as you can see here, the original buttons have been replaced by this uh, dummy, this set of dummy buttons there but the record button has a little slot there where a ribbon cable's coming out and that goes up to this little button box on the top. You can see the ribbon feeds in, feeds in up into the box and then we've got uh, all our controls on the top instead of on the front. We've got our power button here and our record button here um, then we've got menu and set either side there and up and down in the middle and they're really nice tactile buttons so they make a nice click when you push them and um, they're really easy to press there's no mushiness to them um, and you can actually you can go through the menu system really really quickly uh, by using these buttons rather than the original stock buttons so yeah, it's just fitted to the top using a quarter 20 bolt. Uses the little mounting hole that's already built into the camera. Um, and I've managed to keep it small enough that it just fits within the same footprint as the camera. So you can see here, I've taken the original buttons and uh, created this dummy set of buttons that has this custom ribbon cable that feeds the connection up to the button box on the top so yeah it's just made this made using this camera a lot easier so let's head over to the bench and take a closer look at it so before i show you the functionality of the studio button extension uh, i just wanted to take this time to show you a couple of the other products that i've released recently that have featured in my other videos so the main one being this adjustable camera mount so that we can mount this camera to my existing frames, the Halo RC Horus, this one, or the Halo RC Cali. Um, it's easier if I just show you on this one. So it's got a built-in mount that you can adjust the angle of and tighten up the bolts here. Um, and it's got two slots and three quarter inch holes for mounting various cameras too. Not really designed for mounting a big, heavy, full-size cinema camera, but anything like the Micro Studio or something like maybe up to an FX30 would be all right. So other than the, other than the camera mount there, um, you can see I've got this, my SSD drive fitted in the back. So as I said before, this has already been featured in previous video, um, but just to go over the facts, I got rid of the voltage regulator because it was just too big to fit inside there. Um, I'll just go ahead and take this off. So yeah, this is a M.2 uh, M.2 MVME to USB-C enclosure and I've built this LPE6 battery bay around it and as I said there's no voltage regulator it's just power going from an XT30 into a barrel connector and then a USB-C to connect to the camera and this little thing is a Pololo in a box with a slot there for putting a battery strap through so if you don't have a Pololo on your drone and you don't want to use a 3S battery to power, it, power your camera, 
you can use this and it takes the balance lead from a 6S battery and spits out 12 volts over this XT30. So yeah, little Pololo box that's strap mounted. So you just hook it on your strap like so. And that's the other little product I've come up with recently. Okay, so now it's off the camera, it's a bit easier for me to show you. Um, so yeah, basically what I've done is where the buttons were before, I've made a blanking plate that uh, blocks off where the buttons used to come out. Uh, where the record button is, uh, is a little slot where this ribbon cable can come up and go into the little, uh, the little button box on the top here. Then on the top here you've got you know, record and power buttons, menu and set, and down and up to go through the menu system. Um, really easy to push buttons, nice and tactile so you know when you've pushed them, because um, I was just sick of those mushy ones on the front. As you can see, you click the power button, it boots up. Basically the little box on top consists of these two little parts printed out of nylon and this little PCB that has the buttons and the connector for plugging the ribbon in. There are two versions of the ribbon cable. So the standard one like this is like I've got attached to mine and is the perfect length for feeding the button uh, connection up to the little box and used for when you're attaching the button box directly on top of the camera. Um, but then if you're using a cage or something else that's uh, it's going to stop you from being able to mount the buttons directly on the top and you need, it, uh, need, need a slightly longer cable, I've come up with this one that uses a little ribbon connector there so you could um, you can attach whatever length of ribbon cable you need and feed this part up through out of the record button slot and up to the button box wherever you need to put it. So hopefully that should be enough to cover every uh, use case of the button box. So yeah, you can see you can go into the menus and you can cycle through the menus really, really quickly rather than those mushy buttons on the front don't take ages to click through um, so you can just go in and change your settings very easily and of course you're doing it from behind and looking out where the camera's facing rather than trying to reach around the front to click the buttons this just makes it a lot easier um, obviously you can you've got the record button and the tally light isn't affected at all this is a totally non-destructive uh, modification. There's literally only 10 bolts you have to remove and put back in to fit this. And it's really easy to do. And you can just reverse it if you ever damage the camera and need to return it to black magic for any reason. I mean, yeah, there's not really much more I can say about it. It's, uh, it's quite a simple thing but it just makes uh, using the camera a hell of a lot easier. Okay, cool, so I hope you like what you see. Um, I'm really pleased with how it works and how it all goes together. As I said, quite a simple product, but a really useful and effective one. So uh, I hope you'll agree. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Laters.